hi guys welcome back to my kitchen this is another cook with me or bake with me video um in today's video we're going to be making crunchy nigerian buns crunchy on the outside and chewy on the inside the list of ingredients are going to be in the description box so don't forget to check it out to see what i did i'm just going to add all my dry ingredients in one bowl so for the dry ingredients i'm going to be using nutmeg baking powder sugar and salt once you have all your dry ingredients in a bowl give it a good mix with your spatula For this recipe, you would see that I'm using margarine, but feel free to use butter if you do not have margarine available. The both work perfectly well in this recipe. Um, a bit of a disclaimer, you're going to have to get your hands messy. This recipe requires that you mix with your hands. You can use a spatula, but you wouldn't exactly, it would take you a bit of time, be a bit more tasking. So I advise that you use your hand, it's fun and therapeutic i'm just going to be mixing my wet ingredients together before putting them in the bowl with dry ingredients i'm using one egg and milk don't forget to check the description box for the exact measurements for all the ingredients that i used i'm also going to be using half a cup of water and a little extra at the end you would see what i mean as you continue to watch this video don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me a comment in the comment section so i know what you think about this video and also when you try it please let me know as well so right now i'm just going to be mixing with my hand like i told you earlier this recipe does require you to use your hand it's a bit messy but it was fun Right now I'm just going to be adding in the extra water I told you about. The consistency we are trying to achieve with this batter is not too runny and not too thick, just something in between which you will see as you continue to watch this video. So now I'm done mixing and I'm just using my spatula to scrape down the sides and I'm also trying to show you guys the kind of consistency I achieved which you are supposed to achieve from this recipe and the next step is to fry. Right now I'm about to fry the buns and to achieve your round shape you can do that with your hand or you can use an ice cream scoop 
if you don't want to get your hands messy and if you're not sure you can get a round shape with your hand your oil shouldn't be too hot mine was a tad bit too hot because this was the second batch i was frying Thank you.